If you've ever worked with vendors, customers or suppliers who aren't on the same version of SOLIDWORKS, then you know the issues that can cause. You have to either stay on the earlier version and lose the benefits of the latest release, or you have to work with Parasolid files. Let's take a look at a neat solution in SOLIDWORKS 2013 called Previous Release Interoperability. This cover for a motorcycle transmission was designed in SOLIDWORKS 2013. However, the supplier who designs the gaskets is still on SOLIDWORKS 2012 Service Pack 5. The supplier is using a normal assembly that contains the initial gasket design. Now, with previous release interoperability, you can assemble a component designed in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Once the component is inserted, you can see we have a full three-dimensional model. The component icon in the Feature Manager is a little different to show that this is a part from a newer version of SOLIDWORKS. Although there are no parametric features, because it's a future version part, you can still use the file like you would any other part in your assembly. This includes adding mates using the model's faces and edges or default planes. You can also reference this 2013 part just as if it's a current version part when designing in-context features such as converting edges to create the profile for the gasket. Let's close and save this file in SOLIDWORKS 2012. When we return to SOLIDWORKS 2013 and open the file, you can see that the parts designed in 2013 return to their normal state. Likewise, the components we added in SOLIDWORKS 2012 come across as expected. This way, you can continue the design process in the latest release and none of the information is lost, preserving the integrity of the model. SOLIDWORKS 2013 and SOLIDWORKS 2012 Service Pack 5 break the boundaries between releases so you can continue to collaborate effectively whichever version you use.